What was webcamming like for you? Because I know it's very different. Mm-hmm. Did you get? Because I know that some cam girls have had like issues with certain fans that get a little bit too obsessed, or they do yeah. custom videos and they get really weird requests. Mm-hmm. So do you have like any of those that kind of stand out in your mind? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, when I first got into webcam, I didn't know webcam was even a thing. Yeah. I didn't know that was something you could do. And I had a girlfriend's like, oh, you should come over and webcam. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's mm-hmm. like, come over, bring a couple like bra and panty sets or whatever. And then we'll just get on webcam. It would be super chill, super easy. I'm like, okay. And I was so nervous. Mm-hmm. I remember... Because I wasn't used to like taking off my clothes. I've yeah. actually always been kind of a reserved person while mm-hmm. I'm wearing a see-through top. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, well, you're different now. Yeah, well... You've grown into who you really are. Yes, <laughs> yes. You, you give them a little bit, cover others. Yes. You know, so I'm yeah, going to yeah. give this. I have long pants on. Yeah. But uh, growing up, I was really... I don't need, almost like ashamed to show my body. Mm. I, don't, I don't know if a lot of young... I'm, I'm sure a lot of young girls go through this, but... I mean, even in my school, if like our stomach showed, would be sent home. Mm-hmm. Um, if our skirt was too short, would be sent home. And I had parents, and you can't wear that. Those shorts are too short. You're not allowed to wear that. Mm-hmm. And I always felt a little uncomfortable, like showing my body ever, even in a swimsuit. I was like, oh my gosh, people are looking at me, and whatever. So I was over her house, and she's like, okay, just like we can wear this bra and panty set. And I'm literally sitting in front of the camera. I'm like, there's hundreds of people looking at me, yeah. and I'm half naked. She's like, just relax, it's totally fine. And I wound up just like forgetting the camera was there, and we were just kind of like talking and having fun mm-hmm. and like making out and like mm-hmm. doing crazy stuff. And she's like, all right, like we both made like a thousand dollars. I'm like, what? <laughs> Coming from, you know, if I make a hundred dollars a night, I'm like, oh my gosh, I did really yeah. well tonight. Yeah. I'm like, I cannot believe this world exists. Yeah. You're telling me all I need is a laptop and turning on my camera and I can get on here and just like make dinner and then flash people if they want to see my t- or, you know, just be fun. She's like, yeah. And so I took that as, okay, well, I'll just take my personality, mm-hmm. get on camera and then just like try to talk to people as mm-hmm. long as possible um, and then try to make money that way. And um, you're talking about like all these like crazy fans. So with webcaming, you're always going to have two or three like really die hard fans. And mm-hmm. sometimes they cross the line. Sometimes mm-hmm. they don't. But I mean, I would do public chats and then go to private sometimes. Mm-hmm. And these people like I wouldn't even take off my clothes. We'd sit there for 30 minutes to an hour and they just talk to me mm-hmm. because they really want like that girlfriend experience, that connection with somebody. Yeah. Um, but there is. <laughs> there is a line where I'm trying to think of like which what I should and shouldn't say. <laughs> um, people become obsessed and possessive of you. Mm-hmm. So they try to tell you what you can and cannot do, mm-hmm. you know, because they've spent so much money on you or whatever. They're like, oh, I don't want you wearing this, or I only want you in stockings, or I only want you in these heels. I don't want you talking to this person. And that's when you have to kind of draw the line going, yeah. Word, I don't know you. We've yeah. never met. You know what I mean? Like, you can either enjoy me on camera and I'm going to be myself, or you can, you know, there's a thousands of other girls who do it. But um, people do, after a while, start to become a little possessive mm-hmm. of you. And I think that makes a lot of girls uncomfortable. But you really just have to, like, put people in their place sometimes. Yeah. You know, like, like I don't want you ever using toys or I don't want you ever doing this. Yeah. You know, I've had... Well, I would imagine that probably there's a significant number of guys who, you know, have issues having relationships with women or haven't yes. had a relationship with a woman in a long time or before or, you know what I mean? And so mm-hmm. they don't... And so they, they, they meet somebody, they think they have a connection because they've never really had like a real human girlfriend connection mm-hmm. with somebody and then you tend to fulfill that for them, yeah. and then they think that it's more than it is. Yeah, you're literally their online girlfriend. Yeah. And they take it very, very seriously yeah. to where if anybody even says anything disrespectful to you on social media, they'll attack them, yeah. you know, like that yeah. sort of thing. Where you're just like, hey, you know what? Let's take a step back. I really appreciate you, but you're going too far. And I mm-hmm. feel like I've never had a situation where I haven't been able to talk to somebody and they've calmed down. Um, But the custom video things, the things I get requested, I do custom videos, but I'm really particular about like what I'm going to do. I don't just do everything, you know, but um, people want to just, you'd record yourself peeing or pooping yep, or um, they want you to do a video while you're on your period and 
participate in, you know, have your blood fill up the panties and then send the panties to them. Oh. Um, I did one actual <laughs> video that I thought was like a little funny. Um, they wanted me and another girl to just rub oil on our butts and just say shiny, honey, tushy, tush or shiny, honey, <laughs> tushy buns the whole time. They were very very specific phrases I had to say. And it was always just like, do you like my shiny hiney? Do you like my shiny hiney tushy tush? Do you like her shiny hiney tushy buns? And it had to be very, very specific. And if it wasn't the way he wanted it, then he got like really upset. Uh-huh. Um, I think that's like kind of the most, you know, stringent one that I've had. Because usually it's like, okay, what do you want? Yeah. I'm going to base it on what you want, but right. it's not going to be so crazy and over right. the top. 